stand before you and say that the only casualty in this protracted standoff is perhaps our bodily aroma. But on the other hand, our spirit has been elevated and our courage fortified. Having surveyed what has happened over the past few days, we can conclude that we have achieved what we set out to achieve and then some. The world now knows the extent of the repression in Singapore and hopefully this will translate into pressure on the Singapore government to reform the system. Our protest has also allowed the activists to discover ourselves and find the courage that we never thought we had. As a result, we are announcing that we are standing down and ending our action on a highly satisfactory note. I had warned Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong in my podcast on the eve of our protest that if he makes the wrong decision on clamping down on our democratic rights that repercussions will do much damage to his prime ministership I don't think that anyone here today can deny that the ill-advised and clumsy effort to stop us from marching to Parliament House has been a complete and utter disaster for the government's reputation across the world. Unwittingly, the government has helped us create a much heavier and wider impact by stopping us than if they had allowed us to march. I had also warned the Prime Minister that every act of repression will be met by a stronger reaction from pro-democracy groups. That's it, man. it is a fight that the Prime Minister cannot win. If you have seen what I have seen and heard what I have heard over the past three days, you will realize that the protesters have become even more steel and our resolve to wean the PAP of its dictatorial habits. In addition, our numbers have grown. Supporters and observers have noted how a peaceful, yet defiant act of civil disobedience can help to bring about positive change. Our numbers can only grow. We are already planning for the next stage, which will see an escalation of our campaign. Over the next few months, we will step out our efforts to raise awareness of the need for democracy in Singapore. We will step out our efforts to recruit activists and train them. And we will step out our efforts to organize more activities and more public protest in a peaceful manner. Our 72-hour protest, which I have been told is unprecedented and it has certainly been an historic event here in Singapore. It may have come to a close, but I assure you that our movement our campaign for democracy will grow and gain momentum and strength. Thank you very much. Wow.